All right, so today um, I focused more on products because I'm done with most of the other stuff. Um, although my cash register, um, I believe I showed it to you already, though. Um, it, it came with this little sticker and everything. So today I pretty much focused on products and um, filling them up. I still need product labels and don't worry I know that what each one is so um, but yeah I still need to label them all and I still have a couple more things that need to be um, bottled or whatever so all of my facial products come in four ounce bottles or four ounce jars so this is my gentle milk um, cleanser it's organic then I have the um, a sulfate free and paraben free gel cleanser, which is, has foaming action. And then I have um, this clarifying cleanser, which is kind of a creamy, like milk like cleanser, but has um, is meant for you know oily skin or problematic skin. Then here we have the aloe and glycerin toner. And um, and I packaged, oh, and I forgot to tell you what I packaged, packaged these in. They're four ounce bottles, but what's really cool is I picked the four ounce on purpose because it came with this um, top. So the top is like a petite, pre, um, a petite treatment pump. So if I got any bigger sizes, you'd have to get a big pump and I didn't want a big pump and I didn't like how that looked on facial products. So, um, I chose the petite pump for all my cleansers. Then onto the toner, aloe and glycerin, and I chose a spray top for this. And I also think I might package some toners with a, just a disc top instead of a spray top because people might prefer that possibly. Then here we have the soothing um, lotion. And this is a very, very thin, thin lotion that's extremely good for oily skin or any skin type, really. And, um, oh, I forgot to mention, this is organic. The soothing lotion's organic. The toner is organic. The clarifying cleanser is organic. Um, this um, gel cleanser is not organic, I believe, but um, the, this milk cleanser is organic as well. And then on to these jars, um, or I also have these astringents, but I'm keeping them over here just to keep them away from the toners so that I don't get them mixed up because they look kind of the same. So um, these, this is the astringent. It's a mild, mild astringent. Um, this would be best for like people who have acne possibly or oily skin, um, stuff like that. And then also, um, here we have the aloe jelly, and this is a thick um, jelly that um, is acts as a good moisturizer or even a good soothing mask. So um, that's a good product. And then we have this product, which is um, the super rich cream, and this acts as um, a heavy cream, or it can also act as a cleansing cream to take off your makeup and it can also act as a lip cream or an eye cream so this is a very highly multi-purpose cream um, even if you have oily skin you might be interested in using this cream for possibly your eyes or lips or something else like that um, I also experimented around with mineral makeup today and these are over here just because I was playing with the makeup um, because, you know, I want to make sure that... Okay, I hear people like yelling outside, but... Um, I want to make sure that, you know, people can mix it appropriately. And I'm a little questionable. Um, so this is the uh, foundation 
I try to mix it to my color as close as possible. Let's see. And um, although when I took a little um, piece of it and rubbed it on my skin, I felt like the um, color like didn't blend as well. So I am wondering if my mortar and pestle is good enough. Maybe I need a small electric um, mixer for people to mix it if it doesn't blend well. I'll see though when I try it out. I'm gonna try it tomorrow. And then I also mixed this, which was my first attempt at making a, uh, it was my first attempt at making a foundation. It's a mineral foundation, um, but this turned out more like bronzer. So I'm gonna just use it as bronzer. And then um, this is, um, silica spears which supposedly is a really good primer so I'm gonna try um, the silica spears as a primer and then I'm gonna use all of these tomorrow and then I'll let you know how I liked them or if they worked out or not or whatever so for the beauty bar though I when I was mixing up over here this got extremely dirty so if I'm gonna use this I'm gonna have to like line this with um, plastic each time someone uses it because it's too hard to clean and um, it's more sanitary if you use plastic probably anyway. But I'm a little concerned that this didn't blend it out as well so we'll have to see. But um, I also removed that bamboo mat because when I mix the mineral makeup I did have some um, you know, light spillage, nothing extreme or anything. Light spillage and um, it went through the mat and got on the, the table and made a huge mess. So I just removed those. And then um, I put one over here under the light and I just removed it from the aromatherapy part too because it just um, doesn't look good with just one on one side. So I removed that as well. And if you're wondering what this is, I think I showed you this already though. These are jojoba beads. But, um, all right. So then I put two of those mats up there because I didn't like how it looked with those metal bars and with the, um, all of that. So I put those there for now just to kind of make it look better. Um, so, that's what it looks like right now and other than that I didn't really do anything in here I don't think it, well I mean I mixed all my products in here oh yeah the good thing is that I finally got that stupid tent down and um, I really don't know how I did it I can't tell you but it was a battle and I finally got it down so, um, I still need to hang that stuff. Hopefully my boyfriend can come and help me this on his weekend, which is during the week, um, to hang some of the stuff because I can't really see where to hang it when I'm holding it. I can't step back and look at it. So, um, hopefully he'll help me with that. And other than that, um, that's pretty much it. Those are just some products that, um, are going to be used in here that I packaged in that. I may have to get more products before my opening though because I do want to have a good selection for people and I'm a little concerned but fortunately that company shipped to me in like two days so it hardly took any time at all. I could take orders and um, fill them you know when the products come. So um, that's it for now.